good morning dear student and i hope you all are doing fine okay so today we will start with the new topic all right that is under block 10 okay economy of the people all right we're going to learn about the life of the people okay like the job what kind of job they do all right so that is about the economy of the people all right so our aim for today is that you will be able to infer okay you will be able to infer the economy of the people living in the river plains that is using a case study all right we will go through a case study we will read about that case study and we'll learn about the economy of the people all right that is living in the river plain okay river plains and resources required for our class is your worksheet as to your exit content book and your notebook as well so as usual let's learn the meaning of the keywords okay so the keywords that we will be using is fertile and irrigation all right so let's learn what is the meaning of fertile and irrigation so here is the meaning of fertile and irrigation all right so fertile that is in simple meaning of the term fertile is a capable of growing abundant crops or productive we usually say the land is fertile means it is capable of growing abundant crops okay when there is fertility of the soil production of crops will be more all right and irrigation the egg or process of irrigating or the state of being irrigated especially the operation of causing water to flow over lands for nourishing plants all right so whenever we have a crop okay a field there is all right irrigation facility for the water to flow to the land all right or to the okay to the farm okay so that it will nourish the plants all right, all right. so that is usually referring to irrigation okay so i hope now you're clear with the meaning of the term so let's get into action one okay so i want all of you to read the story okay that is from your exit content book uh page seven okay that is the life in the plants all right so i want all of you to read this one okay from exit content book page seven life in the plants all right so for this you will find here okay so i want all of you to read this one all right this particular with uh hidden okay life in the plants all right so i'm not going to read all i'm not going to read for you okay because it will consume more time so i will give you time to read this one okay so please go through the life in the plants okay so as you go through the life in the plan you will learn many things about the people living in the river plans okay so all right from that but from that very particular case study okay from that very particular story about life in the plans here is a question set for you all right so the question here is what does singh sahib do to earn his living all right what does Singh Sahib do to earn his living? What does Sarmaji do to earn his living? All right. And what does Chandra do to earn his living? And how does their family help them? All right. That is after going through this particular case study. All right. The story. That is the life in the plants. You will be able to answer the following question. Okay. The given question. That is what does uh, singh sahib do to earn his living what does sharma ji do to earn his living and what does chandra do to earn his living and how does their family help them all right so for this i want all of you to read the okay the life in the plans okay so please listen to the explanation carefully all right so you'll see that Singh Sahib, Sharma Ji, and Chandra are farmers. You'll see that all three of them, they are farmers, okay? Alright, they are cultivator. They're the wife of Singh Sahib, alright? And Sharma Ji, they sell milk and milk products. Whereas the wife of Chandra does 
silk embroidery on clothes all right embroidery on clothes so you'll see that all three of them they are farmers uh, but on the other hand the wife of Singh Sahib and Sharmaji they sell milk and milk products whereas the wife of Chandra okay she does silk embroidery on clothes so that is the different works that their wife does all right so here is okay a case study okay that uh is given to you the northern plans all right so here's the case study a b and c so case studies a is all about punjab b is all about uttar pradesh and c is about assam all right so they grow crops even here see they grow crops sell milk and milk product even here grow crops sell milk and milk product similar with assam grow crops with silk clothes all right so that is what the work does here in assam they also grow crops whereas this uh, they okay they do with silk clothes okay and here rice wheat cotton sugar cane are produced here also the rice wheat uh, cotton and sugar cane are produced here rice wheat cotton sugar and tea are produced in assam okay similarly as you see the flow out here milk and milk product here also milk and milk product whereas in assam this silk clothes okay silk clothes are available here so lastly you'll see that in the last one okay talking about this portion so here most of the people in the northern plains are farmer and grow rice wheat sugarcane etc so we can conclude that most of the people living in northern plains are farmers and they grow rice they grow wheat they grow sugarcane okay so i hope now you are clear with it let's get into general discussion okay so now let's generalize our discussion all right based of what we have learned so what is common in the way people in the northern plain what is common all right what is that very similar thing okay what is common in the way people in the northern plains earn their living all right and what do you think can be the reason for that all right what common thing you find uh, among the people that is living in the northern plain and how they earn living and what do you think can be the reason for that all right so from our discussion i hope now you are clear with the question as well as the answer okay so you might have different answer for that so please check your answer okay and listen to the explanation whether it is up to your expectation or up to your thinking all right so most of the people we have learned that in the northern plains are farmers all right that is from the life of the plants that you have learned so most of the people in the northern plains are farmers and they earn their living by growing crops different crops okay this is because the soil is very fertile all right because the soil is fertile and the river they provides abundant water for irrigation all right why because the soil is fertile and the river it produces or it provides abundant water for irrigation okay some of them also keep cattle for milk as we have learned right the wife they sell milk and milk products all right so that is what we have learned okay now can coming back to the hot discussion okay so now let's try something higher order thinking all right this one i want all of you to participate individually okay so you can write the answer in your notebook okay and as i explained to you you can okay okay compare your answer all right question here is how would the occupation change for someone for someone who came from the mountain to live in the plants suppose what will be the change in the occupation all right for someone who come from the mountain like the himalayan mountain to live in the plants what will that what will be the change in the occupation all right so i hope you also get you are also getting the question and following the question okay so please listen to the explanation now 
all right so for this particular thing uh, I'm not going to give you an answer okay I want you guys to write the answer in your note copy all right please write in your notebook okay notebook please record your answer in your notebook all right so what according to you will be the occupation uh, change for someone who come from the mountain that is to live in the plain just I'll just give you an example okay like uh, people in the Jammu Kashmir since it is a uh, Himalayan mountain range that is located in the mountain they came to live in Bihar or Uttar Pradesh all right so what will be the change in the occupation what will be the change in the occupation is they come from the mountain to live in the plain area so what will be the change in the occupation all right so I hope you get the question I hope now you are clear with the question as well okay so that's it for our class for today now I want all of us to okay all of you okay to uh, complete your worksheet okay s2 worksheet s2 all right and then uh, with that worksheet I want all of you also to complete practice question 4 as well all right practice question 4 along with worksheet s2 okay so this is the worksheet that you are supposed to do all right there are three questions here fill in the blanks and the other two question okay so this three question please try yourself individually all right so and here is the practice question number four okay practice question number four what do most people do to earn their living in the northern plan so that is the question all right so after completing economy of the people that is worksheet you also do practice question number four okay so that is the end of our discussion for today have a good day take care and stay safe all of you